Hi, my name is Charlotte Skiles. I'm a nutrition consultant and clinical herbalist with Eat in Peace Wellness Consulting located in Austin, Texas. And the topic for today is how to make smoothies that cleanse the colon. So making smoothies is a great way to um, nourish ourselves because you can put so many fun things into a liquid blend and um, quite frankly you don't even have to worry about chewing it. It's pre-chewed for you, you swallow it down and you get really good nutrition. So I, you know, here's one particular recipe or ingredients I would think about adding to your smoothie in terms of cleansing the colon. Flax seeds are a great thing to add to a smoothie directly or I particularly like putting it on top of my smoothie and I kind of eat off the flax seed and then drink the smoothie. So flax seeds are a bulking agent. They get really slimy and kind of puff up when water is added. It's one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of adding them directly to a smoothie because it can kind of make the consistency weird. But I'll tell you what, putting that inside the body offers the whole digestive tract a very gentle way of, of cleansing and grabbing toxins and removing them from the system. Many of us don't have enough fiber in our diet and flax seeds can offer a, a really nice um, tool there. So you want to ideally buy the flax seeds whole, store them in your freezer okay for freshness when you wake up in the morning you take a tablespoon to maybe three tablespoons of flax seeds and you put them in a coffee grinder you know ideally this this grinder would only be preserved for flax seeds if you use the coffee grinder that you brew coffee with you're going to end up with flax seeds that taste like coffee and coffee that tastes like flax seeds and that's not very very yummy so have a, have a coffee grinder designated to do this and grind them yourselves fresh. This takes two seconds to do, it's not a big deal, and it offers you the best nutritional value for that flax seed. You have to remember that heat, light, and oxygen damage fats. Flax seeds, all seeds for that matter, have very fragile fats in them. So when you buy them whole, store them in your refrigerator, and grind them yourself, you are getting supreme nutritional value. The next best op, you know, option would be to buy the flax seeds already ground and packaged in an opaque bag that you store in the freezer very um, you know, sealed airtight, so to speak. Um, that would be the next best option if um, grinding them yourself doesn't um, facilitate your needs. But I highly recommend that you, if you're resistant to the idea of grinding them, that you at least experience how they taste because they taste much different than the ones that you buy pre-ground and once again if you're going to do something do it right and in terms of cleansing the colon and adding these to a smoothie you um, can benefit greatly now the actual smoothie ingredients that I would recommend uh, thinking about using would be um, you could use a base of coconut milk coconut milk is so good for us nutritionally and it offers the body a really nice dietary fat um, that's very clean in terms of being metabolized. It's very easy for the body to break down because it's something called a medium chain triglyceride. So it offers the body really great energy. You can use that as a base. You can add a lot of frozen berries, particularly frozen blueberries. Those will offer another form of fiber and fantastic nutrition for the body. Berries are some of the most nutritionally dense foods that we can eat. Um, acai berry would be another one. You can buy these in your, in your frozen section. It's the pulp, it's the fruit ground up and frozen, all ready to go. And that's fantastic to add to your smoothie. So you can use a base of coconut milk. You can put some nice berries in there, maybe a banana or a frozen banana for some sweetness. And then top that baby off with some flax seeds and you'll have a yummy way to start off your day with a colon cleansing beverage. That would be my recommendation.